Okay, so if we want to look at interpreting horizons, so here's my long line, so I'm going to go window, and then down here to interpretation window, click on it. Uh, let's just close the extra ones that we've got. Um, and so here's the interpretation window, and then I need to select which um, lines I want to look at in my interpretation window. Let's, if we put, you can only put one at a time. You might be a better, a better way that you can put everything. I'm going to click on number F here, and you can see I'm zooming out. You can see time is on this axis and um, line number and trace number on the um, X axis. And you can see I've got quite a strong reflector going across here. So if I zoom into it and I go signs with interpretation tab at the top, click on the signs with interpretation icon. You can see here the different options. So manual interpretation of the horizon, guided auto tracking, seeded auto tracking. Let's try guided auto tracking for now. You can see I'm new to this. So it's going to give it the name Seismic Horizon. Uh, if we click on settings, you can see the number of different um, settings to change. I'm not going to go through in detail because I'm not sure of it at the moment. But yeah, let's just start a basic beginning pick. I'm going to pick on the trough here. Again, you need to know what you are picking, um, what you're looking for. Um, are you looking for a peak or a trough? So you need to know that it all links to the change in velocity. Are you looking for a decrease in density and velocity? So decrease in acoustic impedance, because then you're going to have a trough, or are you looking at an increase in acoustic impedance, then you're going to be looking for a peak. So for now, I'm just picking the um, trough here. So that was there. Um, I, I used the, the guided one. Let's click on the manual one. You can see I'm, I'm literally clicking along. So um, you should try out also the seeded auto tracking. So that's just how to pick some horizons.